Today we're going to install mid pegs on the 2012 Fat Bob. These are the part numbers you'll need for this job. Hopefully you can see that. And then these are the bolts. The bolt number is 3214 in the four. It's just meaning there's four of them in the package. So here's the original peg configuration or controls. I don't know if they really call these a, an actual forward control. They're different than the ones on the wide glide. They're kind of like a, a mid forward or a not quite so forward. I don't know what they call them. At any rate, I'm okay with these controls. I just don't really like this leg position for riding all the time. So we're gonna come under here. And then the frame, I believe most Dinas have this mount. These are just little plastic pegs. We're gonna pop those out with a screwdriver. I don't think I'll, I'll probably break a nail. Just pop those little guys out of there. I'm just gonna take one of the bolts. They're kind of like a, I don't know if you can see here, they're like a self-tapping sort of bolt. These are 5 16 Allen. We'll put a little drop of Loctite blue on there. And that's just a medium strength Loctite. Here's the bracket. We'll just go in from the top. You don't have to remove the pipes. You don't really have to do anything. Just come in carefully so you don't bang it up. I'm gonna grab a couple lock washers as well. Can't hurt. Three hours later. Alrighty, well that took forever. Just go ahead and go down here like that. And I don't have the torque spec for these. I'm certain there is one, but I haven't got my service manual yet. So I'm just gonna give them a couple of thugga duggas. All right, pretty easy stuff. That's what we've got so far. I'm going to be transplanting these pegs onto here. I have another one of these sets coming, but I actually prefer them here in the meantime. So I'm just gonna put my stalkers back on here. You know, I really could use a bike lift one of these years. Sheesh. Okay, that's what that one looks like. Again, same thing. Throw on the lock washers. Under the bolts. Again, using the Ugga Dugga Torque Wrench. Okay, there we have it. Just not real sure what to do about this high sprung shop cat. Anyhow, this bolt is a T45 Torx and then the nut is a 9 sixteenths. And I just realized I forgot to order extra bolts for the set, other set of pegs, so I'm just gonna rob them off of uh, my rear sets. I don't carry passengers anyway, so I don't really care. Those are gonna come off either way. So put that in there, put this in there. It takes up that gap so it's nice and tight. Nice. These pegs have an adjustment here. So like, you can adjust the angle. I've now removed the rear foot peg bracket. I wanted to rob the hardware from it. So I took this off and it sucked a lot. It's a T45 Torx, just like most of the rest of the stuff here. It's like hard to get beyond the fender. You can take the fender off. I just loosened the, uh, you know, took these off. So the fender kind of pivots a little bit. I was able to get this off. I put a lot of tape and everything here to keep it from getting banged up with my ratchet and everything. But 
Anyway, it sucked. So, those, remember those little plugs we took out earlier? Now I've got two holes here. So I'm gonna take those little plugs and those are gonna live in there now. Clean that up. There. Nice and tidy. I'll do the same to the other side and hopefully that side doesn't suck so bad. Well, on the left side of the bike, we've got a bit of a hiccup here. The foot peg bracket is also the belt guard front mount. You can buy another mount for this for, you know, if you want to remove this bracket, which I'll do. But in the meantime, I think I'll just make, you know, a mount. I have a brake, so I'll just take some metal and just bend one up, paint it, whatever, put it on until I can get a proper one. But, uh, yeah, nothing's ever as straightforward as it seems, that's for sure. Well, at least these are a little easier to get to. Got the set here. Have to watch out for the belt, I guess. But otherwise, it doesn't seem too awful. That wasn't nearly as bad as the other side. The other side was awful. So here it is, nothing uh, too beautiful, but everything lines up. So now I'm just gonna paint it uh, black wrinkle finish and then I'll be ready to mount it back on the bike. Okay, here's the final bracket. It's got a wrinkle finish on it. It's still a little wet, but overall it came out pretty nice for just a piece of square stock and some rough measurements. So once it's a little less tacky. I'm just going to throw it on the bike and um, get this project buttoned up. Just one last look at the bracket in place. Looks pretty good. It's a pretty nice match to the stock wrinkle finish on, on the primary here. All right. Now we'll Throw the front one, or the formerly the rear peg, on the front here, and we're nearing completion. What an absolute cluster of a job! Oh my god. see the final um, foot position so that's the stock position and this is the mid position here so you've got you know a little bit of room to, to move your feet around hopefully that will give you an idea of what's involved with a project like this if you choose to do this project make sure you order that um, belt guard bracket if you're gonna remove your um, rear sets you don't have to remove the rear sets to do this project, but if you do, you'll need that piece. So overall, I like it. As always, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.